Hello everyone. So we are back with a new video, which is our first official video, of course. Like I told you last time, this is about my old case. There was a indie GSD mix who had this really aggressive behavior, and I was able to fix him down. But it wouldn't have been possible without the owner's help. So without delaying any more, I ye shuru karte. To understand the aggression, we must first look for its real problem because aggression is not the problem; it's a solution. अब आप लोग कहेंगे कहीं मैं पागल तो नहीं होंगे, but it's true. See, it's just an outcome of another real problem. That problem could be fear, possessiveness, insecurities, just as simple as dominance in a dog. But we must really look for those real problem and the real cause rather than looking at the outcome. अब आप लोग सोचेंगे फिर ये solution कैसे है? See. This outcome makes us realize that he is having some problem. If he does not show it, how do we know what's the problem is? So because this outcome, especially aggression, he is showing towards us, so we can make him distinguish be between what's right and what is not. Well, in this case, it was an insecure territorial dog who just knew to bark and bite if anyone approaches. So to understand this, I had a conversation with his current owners, and I learned that he was abused. hit and kept tied all day long just to become aggressive so that he can guard the fields by his previous owner now that's really pathetic that's that's too pathetic you can't even do that see their psychology doesn't work like ours they need leadership but it's not just a respect that you have to gain out of fear you have to earn that respect along with the trust so you need a calm assertive positive leader but i'll keep this for another video Getting back to our territorial dog, he was rescued by these kind new owners, who brought him in, gave him all the comfort and love they can. But they, this didn't help him. You know what? It only worsened his condition. See, dogs, they tend to move on. They live in the moment, but only if the owner is willing to. See, if you are just trying to comfort him. pet him all day long that it's okay it's all right see it's just it's just reinforcing that anxiety that fear which was in him you never moved on with that you never redirected his mind to something else so now to understand this and to make them understand i got into the picture so the racket that you see in this video is just for a protection purpose that i took If you observe clearly, no touch, no talk, no eye contact approach was not an option for me. When I took the racket and made him for real, I found out that he was so nervous about the human presence because everyone either hated him or sympathized him, and no one really took him out of the situation. After 10 minutes or so, I moved him to another place so as to just, you know, redirect his brain for a while. It's been 25 minutes in the stands, and I got to be honest, people around me were already sad and impatient they were all feeling so negative about it all the energy flow so i had to move them because it was feeding his negative energy suddenly he just went for it bit the racket it was good in a way because he let out all the negative flow the bite might look sad to some viewers but to be honest this was much needed because it's the ultimate thing see after doing so much efforts of going you know not getting redirected he threw in a bite and after the bite i did not think this guy is not reacting negatively not getting scared still standing calmly yet firmly on his grounds that means i got to put in some respect and trust so now the dog started thinking a bit calming down and once and for all he went and sat he sat down in a corner he was still unsure and Pushing the racket towards him meant only that it does not harm him in any way, and he has to trust the presence of it. So after this, we went for a nice long and brisk walk. Unfortunately, I don't have the footages, but to be honest, it's a real good way of connecting and bonding with your dog. And that's what happened. He came back, drank water, and was much calmer. Then finally, that trust and respect started to develop, and that's when I got down to approach him in a normal way. It was amazing to see that he came to me, said hello, and went back. He wasn't hundred percent fixed, but he was under my control, and I was able to gain his trust and respect. And with little corrections, I was able to calm him down. 
really amazing to see, right? But training the owners is quite exhausting. No, really exhausting. But then they were really good people. They cooperated and voila, they got good results. See, that's the beauty of animals and dogs. They tend to forgive and forget and move on. So to check his progress, we went back over there after a week and saw that he was really calm and submissive. He was really playful and happy to see us. That's really good progress. We were amazed to see that he followed me into his territory off leash. He still had to be socialized in various different situations. But I'm happy that the owners got the idea and were really cooperative and put all their efforts on him. See, they changed his life for real, not just by rescuing him, but by rehabilitating him physically and psychologically. Now this case was in my native place near Goa. So after a year when I went there during my vacations, this is what I got. So see, friends, if someone comes to you and says that your dog is crazy, if your dog's mind is bad, then please don't come to him. Please, please, please don't abandon your pets. They too deserve a second chance. And don't be shy and hesitant to seek for professional help. If you like the video, please like the video. If you are new here, please subscribe. And if you have any views and comments, please put it in the comment box. Thank you so much. Until next time. 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 Thank you so much. Until next time.